Welcome to the Murfreesboro.com podcast, where we talk about all things Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Join host John I. Carey, his co-host Jonathan Harmon, and producer Trent Denson as they talk about all the great things happening in our city. From construction updates, to local business spotlights, to all the amazing events happening in our community. Listen in for all you need to know from Murfreesboro.com. Welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the Murfreesboro.com 2.0 podcast. Thank you all for tuning in, uh, watching, listening, streaming, whatever, you whatever do. you're doing. All the Thank things. you. Yep. Intaking. Intaking. Consuming. Yes. Consuming. Consuming. Yeah, I like that. That's mm-hmm, awesome. Mm-hmm, Go with mm-hmm. that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm John I. Carey, co-host Jonathan Harmon, Jay Harmon Home Team, Keller Williams, and I call you producer Trent. Yeah. I'm on, spread I'm the positive. On, yeah, in the hot seat today. That's right. That's From right. behind. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Usually yeah. behind the camera yeah. in That's front right. today. But I wanted, this is a total curveball. I know we didn't yep. talk, but I wanted to, it, I actually had several people tell me and ask that we do an episode on us. Okay. Like, kind of like meet the team type thing. Oh, uh, yikes. I and, like well, it. it's like not too, you know, and not too. you didn't prep us for this. <laughs> nope, all. I didn't. This is a total curveball. Hey, and uh, good thing nobody we're good on our feet, so we'll be yeah. really fine. But I, I thought we could just kind of talk a little bit. Yeah. Like, you have cool stuff going. You have cool stuff going. You know, I like to think we do. You got some cool us stuff. Us collective have stuff yeah. cool going. So, mm-hmm. and then uh, we could talk about, I think, some cool announcements at the end. I like it. Right. I like Something announcements. Good. Cool. So, I'm a Libra. I like long walks. No, I'm just kidding. Wrong. And wrong birds. podcast. <laughs> oh, wrong God, no. <laughs> Don't even get on the birds. <laughs> Actually, before we get started, I just thought of something. Okay. Because we all have, I'm thinking of this could be like a PSA. Because this literally just happened to me before I came in. I thought it was funny. But uh, I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Got a donut, right? My favorite donut is the chocolate glaze with the vanilla icing in the middle mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and there was like a ridiculous long drive through so i just went inside real quick get my donut waiting on coffee and i'm like screw it i'm just gonna inhale this donut real quick while mm-hmm, i'm waiting mm-hmm. and you know i'm kind of a bigger guy when i eat it's like call me hoover i just inhale it mm-hmm. right didn't realize the icing was all over my oh, face boy. and my beard oh, and everything mm-hmm. and i'm sitting there talking with people and nobody <laughs> said anything <laughs> I, PSA, either shave yeah. <laughs> or just assume you've got food. Yeah, here, right. So, yeah. Or if yeah. somebody sees that with another, tell me. Yeah, please tell Because I got in the car yeah, and I was backing out of my parking spot, looking in the mirror. I was like, what the <laughs> hell? I had frosting all over my face. Yep. And then like, it gets on your shirt. Yep, yeah. I know. I was Can't like, win so, them all. So to the lady I was talking to in Dunkin' Donuts, if you're watching this, shame tell on me you. that <laughs> next tell, time. Shame on you. Nice lady, but talk. tell me. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, funny story. But, that is funny. So I don't We're all looking at you, Trent. How about you? You, have, you want me to start? You have spread the positive, yeah, all spread the cool the stuff you're doing. STP Productions, all this uh, beautiful equipment, a lot mm-hmm. of the beautiful equipment here. Uh, mm-hmm. Podcasting and uh, storytelling video series, a lot of content creation. Uh, all with the mission of bringing light to what's going right. That's our tagline. So, you know, the good stuff happening in our community. Like a lot of the rack em up stuff or uh, random acts of kindness yeah. that you do. Jonathan, mm-hmm. Coffee Talk, a lot of the, you know, the hero stuff that we do or that you do. Um, great examples, in my opinion, of what's going right. So just trying to um, showcase and facilitate those efforts and, um, you know, mm-hmm. document it. So now, You've got quite a few now that you yeah, do. Yeah, we're, um, I think. You do a bunch. Yeah, we've, we're. Pushing well, we're right at twenty with several. Mm-hmm. Several are a little uh, less frequent, and some are you know weekly like this one. So, mm-hmm. um, working with about twenty people on their podcast, and we can make that process you know uh, very seamless as long as you can keep the content coming. We can keep the back end and uh, production and distribution happening. So, um, kind of what we've talked about a lot. You know, you don't have to have a massive following. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be uh, Joe Rogan or Mel Robbins to be yeah. able to 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 really benefit from the. Uh, the benefits of podcasting and telling your story in an audible form for people to hear. So uh, it's been really cool what it's turning into uh, basically a little radio station. Jonathan, I know we got some pretty mm-hmm. cool stuff in the works that we're working on uh, all three of us really. So mm-hmm. um, stay tuned for that. Uh, big, big announcements coming for sure. But uh, you know, we can literally come to you set up like we're doing here. We're in Jonathan's home right now. So <laughs> we can turn any, you know, any conference room, uh, office, um, your living room, whatever, into basically a radio station, mm-hmm. have this type of quality on the audio and uh, just be able to reach your audience, reach your listenership mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, tell your story. So it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. What it's turning into. So, what I have discovered is in doing the, the hero and the teacher of the month thing that, that my team does. And we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that. I'm sure in a minute is, 
that everybody and and, and coffee talk i'm at 151 yeah. episodes nice. at this point yeah. um everybody's got a story mm-hmm. yeah. everybody, everybody has a story yeah. you know and and even if you if you're watching this and you're like oh i'm boring and i don't really do anything and mm-hmm. you know all that you're you're, you're missing sorry it. you're just flat wrong yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're missing you'd it. be I mean, amazed at what people will Content people, consume. You yeah, know? and people yeah. love telling it, too. Yeah. And, and giving people the opportunity to tell their story like this and have it have it as a prospecting tool, have it as your why, you know, just being able to tell people why you do what you do. It's it's a powerful well, thing. And even if even if all it is is a simple way to connect to someone, yep. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, what I have seen over and over and over again is that anybody you talk to, anytime you sit down, if you just listen for a minute, man, you're gonna find a way to mm-hmm. connect to someone. I love that. And and I don't I don't care what they look like, I don't care where they're from. There is something that yes. you can connect to people on. And and ultimately, isn't that especially coming out of the pandemic and all that stuff, isn't that really yeah. what we were put here to do? Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean that's what we that's yeah. what we lacked for the last year. <clears throat> yeah. And so we have to find other ways to connect and, and, and you're doing it, man. Yeah. Cool. It's it's awesome. And like you said, just giving people that opportunity and the connection and, you know, spread the positive. That's a great segue. Just being able to connect with anybody. You can pick a, pick a religion, pick a race, pick an anything, and you will have a lot more than you think in mm-hmm. common. That's kind of been a common theme with spread the positive for 10 plus years of mm-hmm. trying to put all this together. So, um, label me human, you know, that's about the only one I want. And yeah. then, and then we can, we can find our common ground from there. So it's, um, yeah, that that's beautifully said. So I got to tell you a funny story. Yeah. All right, you, you guys will appreciate this, and this this really emphasizes the point. Mm-hmm. So uh, you guys know we're we're starting uh, Cedar Glade yes. Brews mm-hmm. uh, over behind Chewy's. Let's go. And, and uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, so several times we've been there and working or talking or meeting or whatever. And there's these three little boys mm-hmm. that run up and down the yeah. sidewalk, and I'm like, where are these kids coming from? Right. Like, what is going on here? And uh, Cool little kids. They're just playing. They're having a good time, you know, playing in the rocks, whatever. And uh, so finally, uh, and, and we see the mom parks a car, and mm-hmm. she just sits there, and then the boys get out and run around, and then they get in the car, and they leave, yeah. and then they come Same, back. Yeah, and I'm like, too. what in the world is going on here? Yeah. So finally I stopped. I walked up to her, and I was like, hey, I don't, I don't mind that you sit here, yeah. but what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like why are you here? Yeah. And, and she has an extremely heavy accent. And she says, um, she's from Africa, she's from Uganda, and, um, I'm sorry, she's from Sudan by way of Uganda, uh, yeah. through mm-hmm. the, that huge, con- uh, not concentration camp, that huge, mm-hmm. uh, refugee camp. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I'm talking yeah. about the, mm-hmm. was it four or 500,000 people, whatever yeah. it is. And, uh, and she's like, I, I'm, I, I do DoorDash, and I usually, my, my biggest ones are Chewies and Chilies. There you go. No, so kidding. she just sits there and waits for orders. Uh, oh, man, wow. But she has to have her boys with her because... It's just her. Right. Wow. And so we get to talking, and, and she's she's awesome. Jobby is her name, by the Shasta way. Shasta Jobby. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So <laughs> That's awesome. I, I need to make sure you see this, Jobby. I'm going to tell your story a little bit. And um, she is just hustling. Yeah. She's got a degree in chemical engineering. Wow. Y'all. Oh, my gosh. Wow. No yeah. kidding. No kidding. That's and wow. And are you ready for this? She knows how to make beer. Let's go. What? Yes. Yes. Oh, she's, like, she's like, she's like, she goes, I made beer in Africa. That was wow. one of the things that I did. That's so cool. And then she goes to MTSU. You're going to love this. Oh, no. She goes to MTSU. Her roommate finds out that she knows how to make beer. So her roommate puts her up to making the beer and selling the beer during tailgating. She made like five grand selling beer. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was, I mean, this was years and years yeah. and years. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. She got in trouble for it. And, and she was like, I didn't know that I was doing right? anything wrong. Yeah. And so she stopped obviously, but, uh, but I'm like, we need some African beer recipes. I was just Let's say, go. you want to come over here? Yeah. yeah. That, that's awesome. But, I mean, yeah. who'd have thought? Mm-hmm. You know? That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I've, I've learned over the years with, with you know, doing all the websites and all the people we meet. Like you said, there's some interesting people out there and people you would never guess. Yeah, right. Or like somebody has an insane story behind them that, like I said, you would never guess or n- never know about. And you're like, wow. I view you in a different light, you know, <laughs> yeah. like a better one. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's, or sometimes worse. Well, you had to, <laughs> depending on the story. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Either way. But but what what I'm just curious. What led you to podcasting of all that? Because you're obviously good at it. Yeah. Um, you um, man, that's a gr- yeah. So um, <laughs> funny story. A previous boss. I gotta give a shout out to Bob Hanson with Pet and Playground Products out mm-hmm. of Alabama. Um, they do all the fun stuff uh, around apartment complexes, dog parks, playgrounds, all that stuff. So I was doing that. 
And uh, I was a sales rep for Bob, and Bob told me to check out a, a podcast called Sales Tuners. And I was like, oh, all right. I'd never been familiar with podcasts. This was probably 2016, 2017 time frame. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I was scrolling, or he sent me the link to it. I'd never really gone through the podcast app or anything like that. So I'm looking through it, and um, I go to Sales Tuners. I listen to the stuff he sent me, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. Like, you can scroll through here exactly like if you had a certain situation with a customer you're trying to, or like a prospecting, whatever you might be dealing with. And it was just, it was all sales related. And I honestly got really hooked on that one. I'm like, this is so cool. Like this is really a tool in itself to like learn and, and anything that I needed help with in that certain situation, I could go and find somebody, an expert talking about I'm like, this is really cool. So um, long story short, uh, I, I got into other podcasts, entrepreneur podcast, Tim Ferriss and, one in particular called Short Story Long with uh, drama from the Robin Big Days, uh, Young and Reckless, uh, the founder of Young and Reckless, really successful entrepreneur, Rob Deerdeck, mm-hmm. all those people. Uh, Rob Deerdeck's like my favorite entrepreneur of all time. But anyway, uh, so every, I swear it was like five podcasts in a row, he was like, I made this commitment. If I can do it, anybody could do it. Because he was like really shy, didn't mm-hmm. like doing podcasts. Like it was a real stretch for him. So I was like, I'm... I feel like I'd actually enjoy it. So I I kind of made the same commitment he did, just like commit to getting one out a week for yeah. a year. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do that too. But it was literally like five episodes in a row. They were like, start a podcast. If you yeah. have anything you're passionate about, start a podcast, start a podcast, start a podcast. So I'm like, oh man. And obviously spread the positive. Yeah. Uh, you know, doing some events here and there, didn't have anything super tangible or consistent that I could do with it. So uh, you know, bit the bullet and, you know, a lot of YouTube, a lot of Google yeah. searches, a lot of doing things really wrong for a long time, <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to figure out how to get, I mean, it'd be like one little thing I was missing to get it up on Apple podcasts or out on Spotify or, oh, I got to pay for SoundCloud premium <coughs> to get this long of a, of an episode out. So mm-hmm. it's just a lot of learning. Um, the long story short, just kept going, uh, kept putting them out, kept having some awkward <laughs> conversations with people starting out. John, I know yeah. we can both yeah, Yes, we can. Yes. Uh, John, you too, Jonathan. Uh, just being able to, you know, uh, get better at it. I still ask the same questions because it's still like what I'm really trying to push. Like there's a lot of good stuff happening. What's, what are your positive mindset tips? Like all these things that we can really, you know, benefit from. So, uh, just kept doing it. Um, Got got to a year and I was putting out more than one a week at times and then, you know, not one a week, you know, mm-hmm. just just trying to keep it consistent and getting them all out there. But, uh, yeah, uh, then got to the point where people were asking, like, can you help me start a podcast? I'm yeah. like, e. <laughs> I don't know if you know what you're even asking at this point. Like, yeah. do you have a website? Do you have an RSS feed? Do you have all these different things yeah. that are on the technical back end that a lot of people don't care to learn mm-hmm. and don't want to learn and all that? So, um, and then things like Anchor came along uh, since then, and it's made it a lot easier, but it's still a lot of back-end consistency, uploading, finding a good place to record, all the things that a mm-hmm. lot of people don't know how to do. Um, but long – well, I keep saying long story short. But <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I was, long story uh, longer. Long story <laughs> longer. I was um, – I found, I found this platform about six months ago that, like, streamlines a lot of this stuff that I was – that I thought was, you know – would really hold people up and it does hold people up, you know, the, the destinations and the channels and the, Mm -hmm. the, the feeds and all that stuff. Um, but it does all that for you. So I bit the bullet paid for the licensing, you Mm -hmm. know, got all of the, the stuff to build out channels and, you know, it's basically, you know, it does everything in one spot, which is crazy. Like stuff for social media, statistics, ads, all these different things, being able to bounce from show to show. Um, so yeah, uh, since then, uh, went back to those people that asked me <laughs> to yeah. start a podcast. I'm like, Hey, I got some for you. Um, let's take a look at it now. And, you know, six months later, we're, you know, 25,000 downloads mm-hmm. and, you know, we're, we're kind of killing it. It's, it's really cool Excuse what it's turning into and, um, basically turning into like a podcast radio station, mm-hmm. you know, looking for ads, looking for sponsors, looking for people that are looking for, you mm-hmm. know, positive PR opportunities. Underwriting. Yeah. Underwriting. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Corporate sponsors for the video production side of this. Mm-hmm. Um, not all of us have a Jeff, uh, shout to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to, uh, he's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he's like, wait, wait. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I feel like I'm blabbering, but yeah, uh, just been at it, been been grinding, been, you know, still figuring out these systems and processes and 
Um, we got welcome emails and all these things that really streamline the process. Mm -hmm. Like if you say yes, we can literally shoot you a few documents. Yeah. We have a few um, content calendars, upload folders, and you'll be off to the races. Cool. Fully distributed shows and mm -hmm. all the stuff. So, Well, here's, here's something, and I, I just want to throw this out there because you're right. If you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. tell your story, mm -hmm. right? And what I have discovered is I, I've done it wrong, still doing it wrong for 151 episodes of something I'm passionate about. But you're about, doing it. But I'm doing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the biggest hurdle for me has been uh, the technical side yeah. of it. Right, it's hard. It, it, it is hard, and yeah. I don't know what to spend my. You can spend, you can mm. spend a hundred thousand dollars and still do it wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, or you can spend two thousand mm -hmm. dollars and, really and right. do it very, very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I'm gifted at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not, that is not my gifting. It's not. Yeah. And and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But what you offer is that gifting, so that you make it easy. For someone to focus on telling their story exactly you, let me take all this stuff that you're not good at off of your hands and you just sit down and tell your story and focus on that that's all yeah mm -hmm. that's exactly it like i it was uh, shout out to <coughs> one of our new shows coming on it's with dow smith you know dow's a mm -hmm. saint like he Dow, is he's such a good incredible human. dude and he has been involved in like everything yeah if there's something good built here he probably touched it <laughs> exactly <laughs> But it was so cool. I mean, it, that's a great example. Like, he had no clue. Well, you know, Dow, he's not going to go learn. He doesn't have 10 minutes to learn something that new. And but outside. he's got stories. But, man, it was so <coughs> cool. Me. Like, hearing, you know, we built, you know, New Vision Baptist Church. Like, that's a huge project. Yeah, An massive. MMC building out in, you know, towards Rockville, Eagleville. Like, these massive, mm -hmm. crazy cool projects. And, like, just hearing him and his right hand joey tell their story mm -hmm. you know like they're not the most well-spoken they're not i mean you know it's, it's not the most riveting content per se but them just being able to tell their story and you know really be able to um you know reminisce and mm -hmm. be like i mean that even got <laughs> choked up on the first episode they were talking about like the history of their company and it's like that's something cool like that's something that's for like they have that as long as as long as we have access to this crazy internet world mm -hmm. or a podcast channel, like you, you'll have that and you'll be able to go back to it. And that's a special thing to offer to people. Well, so. and he is so real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm in Rotary Club with him. My parents have known him for, yeah. you know, pretty much my entire life. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is the realest real dude you'll right. ever meet. <laughs> it's, yeah. But the, the fact that he's benefiting, like he, he doesn't, I mean, let's be honest. Well, he doesn't need to do that. He doesn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he's taking the time and he sees the value in it, not only for his, you know, customers, his, the people that he works with, but... <coughs> but I'm sorry, for, guys. Excuse you're, me. <laughs> you're good, but literally just the fact that he can tell these stories, be able to go back to mm -hmm. it. And, like, his, his right hand, Joey, was like, it's so cool to just take a second and, you know, not be busy and, like, actually remember and talk about their mm -hmm. relationships and talk about all these things. So it's... Um, be on the lookout from from the ground up with Dow Smith. Shameless plug, but there you go. I'm excited uh, about that. It, it's cool. It's it's really cool. It, and I mean, like I've said before, it doesn't have you don't have to have a massive, or it doesn't have to be a monetization purpose. It doesn't have to be, you know, like get rich off your podcast. It literally can just be, you know, telling your story, Tell your story. And, and being able to go back to it, use it for prospecting. I think that's something people that are really sleeping on that. Like if you're if you have an audible version, and I don't think people can fake, like, when you're mm -hmm. actually speaking, like, I think when you're actually talking, it's just you in someone's ear mm -hmm. telling them why you're doing what you're doing. Like, that is a heck of a tool, mm -hmm. especially to be able to, I mean, it could be a dentist. It could be mm -hmm. anybody, like, literally anybody telling someone why they're doing what they're doing. Like, hey, please take 10 minutes to listen to this podcast about mm -hmm. why we do what we do. What makes us different? Like, yeah. that type of stuff is powerful. And mm -hmm. that's, like, that's why I think podcasting is still in its, like, infancy, even though it's been around forever, being able to offer those services and, you know. Mm -hmm. that, I agree. And being able to, because the back end, that back end aspect of it and it being out there in the internet worlds forever, mm -hmm. like, that's a heck of an opportunity yeah. for people. So, um, it, it's, it's really exciting what all this is turning into. And I'm, I'm wrapping my, my head around mm -hmm. it, let alone being able to tell other people. Yeah. And, well, and the good. growth opportunities are endless. Yeah. You know? crazy. And then crazy. you start making some strategic partnerships. You start working on some things that you didn't necessarily see at the beginning. And now exactly. it's like, Oh wow, mm -hmm. yeah. this is a great yeah. opportunity. And just, I mean, this 
the processes and the systems that we've kind of already got and some of the people that I've already been connected with, like they're so smart. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> these content calendars and these Google Drive things, my another shameless shout out, uh Stuart McKee with Slingshot Podcasting. He's out of Goodlesville, but he's he's been very instrumental in some of the onboarding and, and these content calendars and all this stuff that is not my strong suit. Like I'm not the best with uh, keeping track of everything. He's got this crazy master sheet where we can see everything that's going on. I'm like, wow. So anyway, uh, the processes are there. This, I mean, everything's growing. Like I said, we're, we're looking for those corporate guys to help with the uh, underwriting and uh, you know, just building out some of these opportunities that we have, but it's, it's super mm-hmm. exciting what it's turning into. Yeah, that's awesome. I know with the, uh, for those thinking about getting into podcasting, it was one thing I've learned about it with mm-hmm. this is, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of like a train starting. How you yeah. said, like, you know, you may not think you're interesting or something like that. It's, you know, like an old locomotive train. Yep. They go, oh, okay, let's mm. go. Let's, yeah. Oh, here we go. And all of a sudden you're like, Phew, yeah. you know, and the next thing you know, you're up and running. You got followers. You got this. You got that. And, you know, I know with Murfreesboro.com, I was just thinking, you know, let's find another medium that we, we got social media down, yeah, you know, I'm like, we're you know, doing our best, you know, yeah. <laughs> knock on wood. But uh, I was like, let's find something else. And then I found myself listening to a lot of Ted talks Yeah, and I was like, Oh, aha. And right. then just a happenstance, you and I connected. Yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. okay. I and remember then, that. Maybe and then stuff well. you're doing uh, with, you know, was even more so because we met through like the act of kindness thing originally, mm-hmm. you know, you guys do your own thing. And I mean, actually, yeah. Enlighten us on that one, if you yeah, will. I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut up and let you talk yeah, about that one. Over, I'm just going to shut up. So, but, but, <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Well, I, just, I love what you're doing there. And that, you know, that, like how, like I try and explain it to people how they, they, we do the acts of kindness. And like you do your own version mm-hmm. with teachers and heroes. What I think mm-hmm. is amazing what you do with teachers yes. and how you get all stuff. I'll let you talk about it. All, right, all right. I, you. I know which way you want to go now. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, I guess go back to 2019 and uh, I was sitting here at this table with my team and uh, and I said what what can we do to further participate in our community Love that. Um, so I, I'm not a fan of saying give back to the community mm-hmm. that's that's not my that's not my jam I like that um, because to me giving back insinuates that I took something oh, right? okay I got gotcha. and so Interesting. what I look at is how can I be a better citizen how can I better participate in mm. my community there you go right and it and it, get cheesy a little bit, go to the Spider-Man thing with when much is given, much is, you know, all that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, we said, well, who are the people that, that deserve to be sung a little bit more? And, and, you know, instantly teachers come to mind. And and I I don't think anybody can argue that. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he was like, yeah. And I said, what about, what about that other person? That's not a teacher. Right. That that's cool. Let's do that one. Yes. Teachers mm-hmm. check. Yep. Yeah, yep. teachers check. Yep. Yeah, that's right. But what about that other person that's just out there doing it right? Mm-hmm. You know, that. and and whatever it is, mm-hmm. and and we have, man, we have met and honored some incredible human beings. That's awesome. And and we just call it our hero of the month. Yeah. And it's um, I mean, gosh, I'm, I'm kind of going back through my head. One is a is a, a lady that um works really hard with her church, but she does some other volunteer work as well. We had one uh, that uh, graduated nursing school, uh, did all of her clinicals and all this stuff in the midst of the pandemic. So, uh, and our and our kind of statement there was, when everybody else is hunkering down in their in their house, you're like, nope, put me in the fray. And, I love that. and she just she's, yeah. and she did it. And she, you know, perfect scores on wow. all of her stuff. Wow. I mean, she's brilliant, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so kudos to her as well. Um, you know, we had a, a, a gentleman, Robert Crutcher. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever met him. Awesome dude, mm-hmm. first of all, and he runs Club Knockout, which is a, a, a boxing uh, okay. thing, mm-hmm. a, a kids boxing. It's the uh, oh, FOP yeah. or PALS or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, anyway, incredible guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, just it's people like that, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, Dr. Gloria Bonner uh, was one of our heroes of the month. If you don't know Dr. Bonner, you are missing out. I, I promise <laughs> you. I know Dr. Uh, Bonner. She's she's an amazing woman, and the life that she has lived, and the wow. work that she has done, and the lives that mm-hmm. she's touched. I, I don't know of anybody better. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Coon Victory, if you know him, he was one of our early ones as well. Uh, Town of Smyrna. I mean, he's a, a living legend. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, it's been people like that, um, and the big ones like. Coon and, and mm-hmm. Dr. Bonner, and then the small ones like 
the girl that just graduated from nursing. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I love that. Uh, Trinika the is her name. So yeah. it, it's it's been f- fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, one of our first ones was uh, the lady that heads up uh, the programming at the Murfreesboro Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Love so that. I mean, it's yeah. just stuff like that that are every day they wake up and they say, "I'm going to do the right thing today." Mm-hmm. Shouts yeah. to them, you know, every single one of you. Oh, and yeah. uh, and so then we said, okay, yeah, this is good. So we could give them a gift card. We could write them a little letter. And I was like, nah, I think we can do more. I love it. And uh, so we rounded up 15 other businesses mm-hmm. and we pitched our vision and we said, do you want to come along on this journey with us? And they all said, yes. Wow. And uh, so there's, there's a total of 16, ours is one yeah. of them and 16 businesses uh, that, that, per, you know, that, contribute something to these gift baskets and so these gift baskets are worth gosh 350 400 bucks wow oh yeah you had a ton of gift cards in one i saw that that one time bunch of gift cards we got fresh coffee from uh laura over at tasty table and southern sunday Mm -hmm. we got fresh cookies from joe's custom cakes and catering there you go we got this cool tumbler and a little plaque for the hero from tl trophies let's go i mean it's it's super fun brian nail puts in some stuff with iberia bank um Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of cool. It's a, it's a promotional item, but it's super cool. It's like this little like I don't even know what you call it like a like a uh, uh, emergency uh, hardware kit kind of thing. Oh, it's nice. got yeah. like a hammer and a level and oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's yeah. very cool. <laughs> it's one of those things that you don't know you need it till you need it. And then so, when you need it, you're yeah. like, thank God I had that. Where so have convenient. you been? All my I know, life. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Yeah, but but I, I like what you've done too with the. I mean, you know, as we say, you know, you you're real estate team that you have and how the team gets involved and what you guys do and all that stuff. So I mean, that, how you leverage your real estate to yeah, help other people. That and that, and you said it exactly right. I mean, the selling houses and helping people achieve home ownership or mm-hmm. selling their home, if that's what they need to do, whatever yeah, that's, that's, that's fun and we love it and it's a way to make a living. Um, but really it's the way that we get to do the fun stuff, which is yeah. honoring people and, like we had a party here a couple of weeks ago for uh, the Rutherford County Library System, mm-hmm. you know, and so just being able to do all of that stuff, the the real estate is a means to that yeah. end. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. There you go. I know. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I actually wasn't going to do this on this, but I'm totally going to fire. This is a whole shoot from the hip episode. Oh, I like man. this. I have no idea what's going on. No, no, no. This is good because, uh, <laughs> well, it's what you and I are going to do. And uh, I think it's oh, yeah, let's because do it. um, little known we've fact. Been, we've but, been sitting yeah, on this for I a know, while. I know. And I figure if we do it now, that's going to hold me to the fire. So, Here um, it is. Hey, and, you, huh? you better commit. If no, I am. If you do it, you better commit. I am. I'm, people watching, listening, I'm committing <laughs> to this. So, um, and, uh, and I know you'll hold me to it. Thank you very much. Uh, absolutely. But, um, for little known fact about me, I have my real estate license. And so, but I, I got it for those who care to hear if at all, but uh, is uh, just for a project I worked on years and years ago. I've never sold a home, never listed anything, nothing like that, except my own house, mm-hmm. you know, 2016. Anyways, um, when I originally met uh, Rabia and Brett at the gym and we started talking about stuff and I met you, and I know it was kind of brought up as a joke about the act of kindness. I'm like, why don't you sell a house and give away your commission? You know, and I was like, wait, hold on. That's a brilliant idea. And then you and I were just feeding off of it. And so and we, and we, we built an idea. Trent's like, Uh-oh. what? Yeah, yeah exactly. He's <laughs> like, huh? Let's but go. So, so, yeah, that's, and I'm, I'm going to hold to this. And, and I know, and thank you very much. You've been a tremendous help with me. I mean, I had to reinstate my license and all that other stuff and all the stuff going on behind the scenes that, for those that aren't in real estate watching or listening, there's a lot behind the scenes that well, you don't and, see. And, and, and so. you may, I, I, this may come as no surprise to anybody, mm. but John is involved in a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> and, and John is like, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to, and 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 then I'm going to, uh, wait, yep. I didn't do that. Hang on. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly right. And it's, and <laughs> so I'm trying to. Myself. Yeah, yeah oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, and uh, another thank you to that, because you're helping me streamline things. And so, especially with all what we're doing here. But so it, I know the market's pretty crazy right now with everything going on. But um, for those watching, listening, I am going to, shameless plug here, I'm going to start you know, selling homes and do what I can, that sort of thing. But it's it's a vehicle to raise money for the act of kindness. That's and right. And I know we had talked about the first two commissions that I do. You know, I haven't sold or listed anything yet, nothing like that. Well, we're about to. And so um, first two commissions, whatever that commission that comes to me in the end, 
First two of them, 100% we're going to give away. Man. Yeah, 100%. That's amazing. So l- l- let me lay out the details. Yep, I know. Okay. Yep, I, that's where I need uh, your help. <laughs> yep, let me lay out the details. So here's how this is going to work. Um, if you are interested in mm-hmm. purchasing a home and uh, you want to work with John. Mm-hmm. Um, or they can list it too, right? If yeah, we can okay. do a listing. That'll be fine. But that's you. Anyways. I, so I'll shut up. Sorry, yep, here, <laughs> you know more than I do. Here's how we're going to do this. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to take some applications, mm-hmm. basically, uh, for uh, to be John's first two clients. Mm-hmm. And um, what we're going to do with that is we'll pick a compelling story. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And John is going to work with you. I'm going to work with you, so that you'll get both of us. Mm-hmm. Right. So. You, we won't need to worry about rookie mistakes. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> none of that. <laughs> John will get to learn. You'll get accomplished your real estate goal, whatever mm-hmm. that happens to be. Um, we have to pay. We have certain fees that we have to pay. Yes, and so and the, there's taxes and taxes. And so all those fees will come off like they're supposed to, and then whatever's left over, mm-hmm. um, we've got a couple of organizations uh, that we're looking at uh, to donate the the entire mm-hmm. uh, profit, if you will, off of John's commissions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, to those Man, to those organizations. That's incredible. Yep. And <laughs> yes. we even said, even if it's somebody comes in and wants like a million dollar home, Doesn't I'm gonna matter. I'm gonna hold you know, put my money where my mouth is, whatever cool. that you, whatever that you is. You heard it here first, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Yep. It does not matter yep. what that money is, it is going back into mm-hmm. the community immediately. Yep. Wow. And and we'll do that and yeah, well, like you said, there's different organizations we're looking at and different things, but uh I mean, we'll heck, get those we get, details. Where, and, we, yeah. and we'd actually value your input yeah. when we get to. Yes, yeah. yeah. We can put a poll up. We can ask questions, mm-hmm. you know, what organization people like this to go to. Um, I kind of like Habitat for that. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with Habitat. I mean, but That's think, good, about, think about, like, the connection, how that weaves oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. I Just throwing you. that out I there. And, and I'm not saying that's what we're doing. I'm yeah. saying. No, I get it, though, yeah. Um, it, it, that would, yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Habitat, they do such wonderful things. The they community. do. They got a whole new neighborhood going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, awesome. that's right. Yeah. We can we'll get into that one on another one. Cause that's, that's a cool project. <laughs> Terry, if you're watching, we need you on here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then beyond, and, and also with them, we have, you know, the, the, the amount of people that are getting behind this to help us, you know, like Brian nail, that's and, right. you know, the people over at mortgage boutique and then just the people that are willing to, to help us, in this process to along the way. Is, we'll get you some deals along the way. Yeah, not exactly. Not involved in the actual house, just mm-hmm. so you know. Yeah, and so it's it's really cool. To, as soon as we started trying to put this together, everybody was kind of like what you said. Yeah, like, right. yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. You know, and it was really cool. So um, so we're going to use this as a platform to raise money for to give back. Excuse me. I did not give back. To participate. Participate, that's right. There you go. Because we, you know, and, and I, I really firmly believe a lot of times, you know, people say, you get a, you get more out of this than the people that do. We, oh, I, I enjoy it. I love doing this. Absolutely. It, and yeah. and I will tell you um, also we uh, need to make sure we say <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is still a media thing. Yes. So mm-hmm. if you're going to apply, you mm-hmm. need to be able to be on video, mm-hmm. uh, audio, yeah. and photographs with us. So if that's mm-hmm. not your jam, um, yep. we can still help. But yep. oh, that and we want to try and um, also you know as part of this we'll we'll give the donation away in their name as well you know yeah so, that's right you know brought to you by courtesy of type thing you know yep. and so uh, that'd be that'd be really neat and, and, Wait, okay so yeah. let's let's do this I know we're we're running a little short on time yep so we've made the announcement mm-hmm. we will get all the details up yep. shoot soon yes like yeah, next that's day exciting yeah I've I've actually created the page on the website it's just hidden already so Sweet. we can do that and uh, but for those watching you know you can go right on the website murfreesboro.com and search all the homes for sale and stuff like that. But if there's a home that somebody finds that they want more information on, you know, fill out the little form on there and, and you know, when we get that information, I'll turn around and, and call you and, uh, and, or email contact, whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can get that ball rolling. So, cause we'd love to try and, and surprise and, some more. And just so you know, even if you're not, I mean, we're only going to do it twice, yes, uh, at least for now. So even if you're not one of those two, um, we absolutely can still help you accomplish yeah. what you what you mm-hmm. want to, what you want to. Well, after those two, I still plan on, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a hundred percent, but we'll do, you know, I'm just throwing out a number right now, but if, even if it's 50%, we're going to use it as a vehicle to keep going and raise sure. money that way. So yeah, that's awesome. awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah. So we, we love doing that. We just want to keep it going. So. Yeah. What's going right. I'll tell you what, that's, that's, that's right. Spread the positive of you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Well, speaking of spread the, spread the positive, if people want more information about yeah. it, where can they go? Uh, spread the positive.net. Uh, all our socials are at spread the positive. So, um, mm-hmm. we'll Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, okay. well, obviously the podcast. So, yeah. uh, check, uh, you know, 
the Spread the Positive podcast is on all the major podcast mm-hmm. platforms. So any of our Apple folks that want to leave a mm-hmm. five-star review, go there check go. all those out. Please do. That helps us tremendously. Um, but, yes, at Spread the Positive and SpreadThePositive.net. Okay. And I'll make sure to link over to them Please. when we Thank post you. it. And then J. Harmon Home Team. How do yeah. we find more about you? It's at J. Harmon Home Team. So on, on everything you got. Everything you got. And uh, we've got a new website that's rolling out. So, nice. Um, that, mm-hmm. That's coming hopefully in the next three weeks, okay. four weeks, nice. awesome. somewhere around there. And, um, yeah, so – be on the lookout for that, and we've got we got lots of fun stuff coming too. Mm-hmm. And uh, Cedar Glade, all the Cedar Glade got some stuff, stuff coming. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun to show off. Oh man, really I am so pumped. There, there is a a tremendous uh, little thing growing yes. in between triangulation uh, of the, greatness. The three of us. That's here. right. <laughs> That's right. So, oh, I like that. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh, and, and and we got that. I, I'll I'll give a teaser. Uh-oh. So we also have. Nash Vegas. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so Sleeping on Nash that, Vegas. That, that one's been kind of on the back burner it's for brewing. a long time. It's a and so NashVegas.com. Is that, di- that, that idea keeps going like. Yeah. It does. And as of that this one. morning, it took a big jump forward. Yes. So I was like, yes, oh, hello. So, yes. um, so watch for that one. It's NashVegas.com and the Nash, Ve- Nash Vegas podcast. But the yeah. .com part is under construction, so the site's not live just yet. But uh, we're all working on that one. There, so. right? And it's all going to be. Everybody include yeah we are, we actually already have a Facebook page and Instagram set up with over one hundred and sixty thousand people so that's far crazy yeah it was, <laughs> Man, combined between cool. the two of them I was like whoa that's awesome yeah, everybody real. loves the Nash Vegas name I guess yeah but, um, but that'll be a fun one so watch out for that everybody yep. mm-hmm. but uh, I know I don't want to drag it on I know we uh, Jeff's already yelled at us yeah cut it he's like guys I got to edit this <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> awesome but uh, for those watching and listening we appreciate it as always thanks for tuning in yep and, thanks uh, send we'll, us questions yeah participate in the communication mm-hmm. here and yeah. uh, let us yeah. know how we can make this uh, 2.0 uh, 2.1 that's right a little better. bit better yeah leave yeah. Com- leave a comment in this video for us and yeah. let us know appreciate you so, watching yeah thanks everybody we'll see you on the next one